No sanctuary. I need a sanctuary. Oh god, they're already after the villagers! That actually worked, holy crap. Spamming this shield throw actually worked. You cannot have her! Nope, wrong guy to hit! Wrong guy to hit! Damn it! Oh, he actually got him. Lame. The hell? Was that a bird? A bird was just trying to rape me. Yes, we got the gold back. Gold pants, gold chain, gold shirt! Oh, sorry we didn't get to save the other guy, but hey, we saved the women. That's all that really matters. Uh, first our town is attacked, and now the church is nothing sacred. Apparently not. At least not in this game, it's not. So again, back to hopping around like Peter Cottontail. The Peter Cottontail who does not try and kill us, that is. No chests. Really? I am- okay, whoa, there we go. I'm about to say I'm not good at finding those. Okay, now that was actually kind of pointless. I actually had four things of health. Anything in the fire? Another chest? Nope. Oh god. I believe I'm kind of running low on magic right now, and I think that the Mighty Blow requires magic, as does the Shield Throw. Beginning to regret getting that blow from that guy. Should have stuck with the spinning blades. Not surprised that there's a treasure chest in the graveyard. Kind of a common place for him. But since I found one on that side, does that mean it is symmetric and there's another one over here? Huh? No, no. Boss top? Wait, really? We're already at a boss? Well, at least we have the golden armor for it. And a full Grim Meter. At least it shouldn't be that bad. And I'm kind of tempted. Do I want to use my Grim Meter right now? No, probably not. I'll save it for the big enemy. For the boss. Because you know that's going to happen. Although I would kind of like to... Yeah, you know, spiders! Why is he counting down? Why is he counting down? He's a bomb. Stop throwing shit at me. Being so freaked out by these spiders, I'm actually swearing right now. Kill him, quick. Why the spiders are around. I don't care if they're robotic spiders. They are still spiders after all, and spiders I do not like. I'm gonna lose my golden armor. Go into my happy place by singing. Kill them now. Okay, this guy, no. This guy, I don't have a problem with. I can deal with him. Oh, there goes my gold. Oh, well. Not that concerned about it. Like I said before, as long as there's no spiders, I'm content. Although that does kind of scare me that the boss of this sanctuary is going to be a giant spider. Just because this game knows to, how to troll. Yeah, sure, stay at the window. That way when they pop in, I can instantly kill them. Get out. I can't damage you when you're on the ground. Look at all this money, man. No! Damn it, I'm not with the spiders. I get it. Just don't let them get me. This is one hell of a gauntlet, though. When do the enemies end? Do they end? No, he's ticking in. Ticking spider bomb. Is that no? Apparently, that's still not the end of all. How many are there? Get away! Get away! Get away! I don't want to use my grim because I have a feeling that there's going to be a big boss at the end of this, and I don't want to waste it. Oh! More health! 
They're actually kind of generous with that right now, aren't they? I gotta say, I didn't expect them to give me this much health on hard mode. Ow. Although they are kind of taking it away kind of quickly, so... Game give the game giveth and the game shall take it away. Apparently that is their motto. Hey, give me the boss. Give me the boss already. I'm starting to think that there is no end to this. This is a perpetual, never-ending gauntlet of enemies. And that the only way out is if I walk out the door. Let me see if there I can actually leave this place. No, so I'm kind of stuck. And very, very confused. Because these waves of enemies are not really ending. And I have not seen a boss yet. Bring him out. Bring him on. I'm ready. Really? Oh! So apparently there was no boss in that area. And I missed one enemy. Who did I miss? Thought I got them all. And sadly, one guy did die. He was probably a shop guy, too. He could have probably, he could have probably sold me something. The House Crasher. Now that sounds like a boss name. The Uninvited Guest. Alright, let's do it. The game gives me a gauntlet, and then they give me a boss. That sounds about right, actually. Any store? Anyone to sell me stuff before? Any hidden treasure chests? Alright. What the hell? What the hell is that? It's a, a robotic chicken house. A chicken coop. Maybe that should have been his name. The chicken coop. No, get out of there. You're stuck on a tree. Or in front of a tree. Whatever. Obviously, I need to attack his head. His glowing head, but... Uh... Yeah, hold on. I don't know his moves yet. And I am not going to die in the process of learning them. Ow. Well, thankfully, he's clearing out the trees for me, so I don't have to worry about getting stuck in front of him. Can I lure him onto the fire pit to do anything? No. Wait, here we go. There we go. Good. Get him. I might want to use Grim, though. That might do a lot more damage. And holy crap. He's charging me. Do I need to, do I need to get him to run into a tree or something? How do I get him to stop? Okay, there we go. No. No. Here he comes again. He's gonna charge. Or maybe he only charged when he puts his head back into his, uh, coop. Although he does seem to ram me a bit. Oh, for a second I thought he was gonna fire something at me. The way he backed up like that, like he had some sort of projectiles. Well, maybe I don't need Grim for this. Here, I was expecting a difficult boss fight. As soon as I say that, he's about to kill me. And I still got three things of health, too. Eh, no problem. Nah, he's dead. Almost dead. One more attack should just about do it. Easy boss fight. Really? So much for this game being more of a challenge than the original. Although this is the very first stage, so I guess I gotta give him credit for that. And we win. Or not. No. Oh my god, he's got machine guns! Machine gun raptor. Please tell me my show can actually save me from this. Although I'm kind of, aren't I kind of sucking in his bullets now? Uh, no, that don't work. Throwing shield is not going to be the smart move. Okay, I just, I guess I just need to inch myself forward. 
Wait, here we go. Oh, come on. Why did you have to jump backward like that? I almost had him. I had like one attack on him. This might end up being a little bit longer than I expected. Especially if you keep pushing me back like this before I can get to him. There we go. Come on. Got him. Grim, go! Oh, wow. That took a lot of damage off him. Hell yeah. I'm glad I saved my Grim then. Because you don't really seem to get that many chances to get up close and personal to him before he either jumps backwards or pushes you back with his machine gun. Does he have a third phase or is that it? Okay, that looks to be it. Still not that difficult, really. That was some mighty fine fighting, young fella. Old timer, do you have any idea where these things are coming from? No one's rightly sure, but if I were a betting man, I'd say the gear master in the haunted forest is responsible. Looks like I'll be paying this gear master a visit. Hey, we actually mastered a level. We 100 percented it. So I guess that means there were no treasure chests in that level. Or secrets. But I do think that's going to be just about it for me today, and I will see you guys next time when we go after World 2 of the Forest of Fear. So until then, adios, and I am still kind of upset over the fact that you do not have to buy saves in this game. That was one of the challenges that I actually enjoyed.